Hey, you guys. Hello, hello. Hey, Tally, you. Good to see you. Okay. Shani and Rev um, are live right now on the channel. They're bannervating on the Losers Club. And there's some kind of drama going on with them and Drader. So they have a live stream that's going on right now titled It's Sad. And I just wanted to watch some of it together. Hey, Anna Maria. And then I wanted to go watch Dragon Lord Frodo's deleted birthday stream. So we're just going to watch a little bit of the Shani and Rev live, and then we're going to go to Dragon Lord Frodo. Um, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me. Hey, Bestie, good to see you. All right, let me share this screen. So I went back so we st could start at the beginning to find out what's going on. Um, when I went to the stream at first, like before I even paused it, I heard him saying something about making fun of Shani's warts. I don't know. So... This should be a wild ride, and uh, off we go. I'm going to mute myself so there's no echo, okay? You want to tell them, or do, do should I, do you want to tell them? Oh, yeah, King why Cobra, I, not Dragon Lord Frodo. Tell them? Yeah, okay. Thank you. you tell All them. right, so uh, just, I don't know. It's one of those days, I guess. Um, I hope people don't act like this every single day of their life. And it's only, you know, maybe two days out of seven. But uh, we just got a phone call from, I'm not, I'm not positive it's Drader, but I'm pretty sure it was him. We don't watch his channel, no. so we have no, no idea how. Well, I'll just say it. You I, watch I, his one, channel. I, one day when I heard his name. I did pull up one of his videos to see exactly what he was all about. And he's like, he's, it seems to me what he does is he tries to demonize you completely and he tries to make me sympathetic. Yeah. But he doesn't I'm have sure to try to do anything. He's not sympathetic. Shani's a demon. Just, that's the tactic to, to divide and conquer and make us fight and all that. Crazy. Uh -huh. I'm sure you're going to hear the phone call of him yeah. calling our private phone number who we, that we gave out to one person we shouldn't have. Yep. And he gave it to other people. Yes. We know exactly who. Yeah. And it was dumb. I knew that was dumb. But at the time, it seemed like the right thing to do to talk to him. But. Wait, what? So our number's out there. This guy calls. I'm pretty sure it's Drader because I, I did pull up one of his videos once. And his voice, he's, God, he sounds so psychotic. He sounds so crazy. Like, he needs some help. So pray for the dude. Uh, um. But That's yeah, we bold got coming from you. Is, is, tell us about the warts, Jenny. Oh, gosh. Tell us about the warts. We need to know That was terrifying. Warts. Why didn't you get the warts removed when Rev had money? Uh, and then That was ahead. absolutely terrifying. When I go to sleep tonight, that is what I'm going to hear. I'm going to be falling asleep, and then I'm going to hear, Tell him about the warts, Shani. Tell him about the warts. That was absolutely terrifying. Hey, Cyber, we're going to watch um, King Cobra after this. So I know you are excited for that. You know what's weird, though, you guys? I had three missed calls from an unavailable number, and the voicemails were, like, shrieking. So it's weird. They're saying they got a call. I'm not saying it's related. I'm just saying it's, like, weird. <laughs> Your fat Weird. Ass and get a job. We all know that you can walk. You we can have walk. No proof of you walking because it, it might. She got up from the couch, guys. And if you okay, I, I want you to go back Joe. to the video, okay? And you listen to the amount of time it takes Shani to get up, and actually you hear the door open. It takes 20, 25 seconds. If it were me, I would have heard ding dong, and then you would have heard boom, the door open because the door is literally. 12 feet from ours, 12 feet, about 12 feet from us, I guess, if I'm, yeah, I ain't a contractor, so I'm not really, really great, great with those, 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 you know, measurements, but uh -huh. it actually takes Shani about 20 to 25 seconds, what it takes me five seconds to do. What are we you talking about saying? again? No. And this guy say, we have proof of you walking. Nobody has ever said that Shani is completely mobile. That's not true. Thank Jesus Christ. Can I ask why she never leaves the couch then? Why we never see her in any other area? Like, it just seems that that's, that's it. She can't leave the couch. Like, I think at this point she has to be surgically removed. I really believe that. I do. She can Oops. 
can get up. She can move at her own pace. Then why doesn't she? She can get to the bathroom, thank Christ. Then why doesn't she shower? She's not bed bound. Are you okay? sure? Couch Nobody's bound? Nobody's ever claimed that. She just has a very challenging Yeah, time Cyber, I don't know. Getting from one place to another because of pain. 100%. So, so we get to the <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you want my opinion on it, I feel sorry for the person. Like, it's all hateful, absolutely disgusting stuff. I get so annoyed, like... That brief interaction time I had with Shani, all she did was bitch about her back and her pain. And that's why she does the things she does because she puts everybody first and doesn't doesn't take care of her own body, all this stuff. It's so frustrating. And then they like hide behind depression. Like I have a spinal fusion. I have a rod in my spine. I suffer with depression, but like I still get up and get out of bed every single day. I take my shower. I take care of another little human plus animals. Like at some point you have to stop using it as an excuse. Now, some people have pain so severe that they can't get out of bed. That that, that does exist, but I don't believe Shani has that. Does anybody else believe that? The stuff that's being said. Yes. And it makes me angry, of course, because he's attacking my wife. It very much makes me angry hearing it. But I'm thinking to myself, holy Lord, this is what you view as your fun? Hey, Simone, you do? Eey. That That's what really I want people it's just to sink in. Like, if you're in that spot, I'll pray for you because you really need it. If this is your idea of fun and calling someone that you, I, well, if, if it's, it's greater, greater that you're obsessed with on the Internet. Okay, let me get this straight. Do I think somebody should be calling you? No. Hold on, I have to cough. But you don't know me, man, at all. Yeah. You don't know me at all. You were like assuming everything and everything you said, said was wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. I choked on my yeah. own like spit. Doesn't that ever happen to anybody? You like breathe in the wrong way? Okay. So while I don't think anybody should be calling Shani and Rev, they're all they're all upset over getting phone calls. But she felt free to go into my DMs and call me every name in the book and growl at me and um, call me a see you next Tuesday, a biatch, um, horrible stuff. Like, hello? Like, does she really needs a mirror. I, and, and, the, and the other stuff was just childish stupidity. Like, it, Joe, it does he have depends on his Amazon wish list? the weirdest phone call I think I ever got. Yeah, hey, well, I could tell by the voice right away. They're saying Drader called them yeah, and is yeah. harassing them, I basically. I, I, right. About her I warts or something. I didn't give a fuck yeah. about Lisa. I yeah. didn't, didn't even think about her. I was like, who? Like, that's the last person I would think about. Well, she's the latest name. Yeah, she's the latest name that they planned everything out with. And I think people gave us the Taco Bell and pizza. I hate to say it just to have some kind of fucking weird narrative. Uh, you say that about the Taco Bell as well? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, think so. I don't know what, what the narrative, narrative is. is but We're having a debate weird. about Taco Bell? Because when we got the pizza, the person said, and we can give you the message. Yes, and I want it all to, well, I just want to say really quick. There's so something you're that amazing. I talk to a lot over email. We're not talking about you. No. Okay? Go ahead. Sorry. I oh, I want to say to you that? guys, I didn't want to cover the community post because I absolutely adore Carrie. <laughs> like, I just, I really respect her as a creator. And um, just as I've gotten to know her, she's actually a very, very nice person. Her and her husband are very nice. Um, Shani made a community post sharing a video about, I don't remember if it was like my weird obsession or my weird hat, like one of those shows. And it was a woman that like drank her own pee and Shani was saying, oh, Carrie, is this you or something along the lines of that? Shani is vile. Like she does and says horrible things to people, but is like, oh, somebody called me. Somebody did a prank call. Like you do and say shitty things like what you do and what you put out into the world, you usually get back. Most of the time you get it back. Hey, one CD. How are you? Oh, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Malice. Okay, when you guys get bored of this, Tommy and we can go to um, King Cobra. I'm going to keep accidentally calling him Dragon Lord Frodo. I don't know why I keep calling him that on accident. So if I say Dragon Lord Frodo, just know I mean King Cobra. I don't know why I keep getting them confused. They're two very different people, but I don't know. 
you guys know me. I can't, I have a hard time pronouncing people's names half the time. You think I'm going to get the person right? Well, oh yeah, in the email. <laughs> yeah. They were talking. They I said, said, "Why don't you I'm good. make a video and make sure you?" It's not raining today. Rain. Finally, rub it in the troll's face. Yeah, rub it in the troll's face. That was the quote, and I want I wanted to have that in the video. video. Hey, At Blondie. The, of the video. I wanted to say, I was requested to do this. Yeah. But I forgot to say, remember you had me reshoot it? Uh, yeah. Because it was like, it was too short and it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. And I cussed, I cussed once. So I shot it again and I forgot to say that. I wanted to say in the beginning, I was requested to make this video this way. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to be braggadocious. And frankly, and I don't want to be on camera. That's why you didn't see me in the video. Yeah. Because I, I just don't. don't no, it's because you're banned or anything. No, it's not. You're done. I don't know what you're trying to pull. You weren't showing yourself on this and on camera because you're ban evading. Now you're finally showing Rev and all that stuff. Like, but please, like, we don't mind. Like, feel free to continue not showing yourself. Like, that's okay. If I want to look at somebody unshowered, I'll look back at my photos and my addiction. And I'm not even trying to be mean, but the nerve of coming on camera with that mustache. Have you guys seen Rev's mustache? That's like such a hygiene. Like, ugh. Yeah, you're exactly. Done. That's what it is. It's hey, Kara. Look, if, so if Shani and Rev 1CD are fighting with Drader. You were on Twitch still. We have our faces proudly. He called. Yeah, he prank called money. them allegedly. Yeah, like, I don't like, know if he did. Do that, but it's so far now. And why would you? That's the question. Why? What yeah. the hell? There's no point in that you have putting yourself out there and just continue to take abuse for nothing. Yeah, that's why my comments are off because I'm sick of taking abuse. Oh, he mentioned that. Yeah. He he he, he, he said that. that um, Can I just point out? Something about the comments, Shani. It, I don't think it matters if your comments are on or off. Like. Nobody was commenting on your community posts anyways, <laughs> like not even one person. I think Foodie did once or twice, but even like when you go hard for her, she never thanks you or anything. Like nobody comments. It's like, they have your comments off so I can't talk to you. Uh, oh, that's the fucking point. <laughs> that's why there's no chat and you still bring in 83 fucking people. And no comments, no because, comments. because I don't give a fuck about what fucking people who have attitudes and and just hate me because someone told them to hate me. Yeah. And, and they're just getting their, like, knickers all up in a wad. For nothing, literally. Yeah, for nothing. Be because every time this happens, somebody, somebody calls. All up way, in a wad. All the things that they bring up that you've done, quote, unquote, wrong, are all lies. Yep. Swipe. I was laughing. Okay, yeah. do we care about this it's anymore? Yes. <laughs> like, genuinely, do we care about this anymore? If you guys are very, like, if you guys are interested, we could keep watching. But um, I know SJAM updated community posts, and, like, I never really care what's going on in that whole world over there with them. But um, it's rather interesting what he is trying to uh, dodge taking accountability for. Or um, I, I wanted to see the King Cobra birthday stream. Hey, Sue. Yeah, Joe, I'm like, I thought it was going to be more interesting. We can go to where they are now and see if anything better is happening. Let's see. But, like, I feel like this is the same BS, different day, just with a different person. And they can tell you to stop. And it's a local number, too. So you're in my area. Huh. Okay. People I, like him are cowards at the end of the day. Yeah, they won't give you their actual return address if they send you something that's like, well. All right, I don't care anymore. So she called Drader a coward, basically, um, and that's that. All right, so you want to go see the S-Jam stuff? Oh, and the birthday stream? I've watched him maybe, like, one time. I think we watched him one time on this channel. Um. And then I learned he made wands. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I really want a wand. I couldn't hate him. There was something about him that I don't know. I'm not saying I liked him or anything. That's a very strong word. I don't know that I felt like 
any sort of way other than like curious, entertained, what the F, but like I, I couldn't be upset, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't watched enough of him though. Like I don't know what he what he's up to. I think I heard he struggles with um an alcohol problem, like hello, been there, done that. Um I think he's been like arrested for drunk in publics or something like that. Hello, been there, done that. Um I think he like owns that he has a drinking problem. Uh, I know he makes really weird food combinations. That's all I really know, you guys. Um, doxed. Oh, Dragon Lord Frodo doxed a bunch of people. See, I don't know enough about him. I saw like an episode. I think he was talking about getting arrested at a bus stop or a truck stop or something. I watched it with you guys, but I can't remember. That might have been the only time I watched him. Um, and, like, I've been arrested for drunken publics. I don't even know how many times. So, I like, I couldn't hate him. But I don't know what he does in general, you guys. <laughs> um, so, King Cobra with the docs. Oh, my gosh. He doxes people. Hi, Hugh. How are you? Okay, let's go look at the S Jam thing. Do you guys want to watch a bit of the live stream where he talks about the um, DUI? And it wasn't even a DUI because he didn't get arrested for driving under the influence. They didn't arrest him for that. Somebody is saying he was driving under the influence, and he he said in text messages that he was drunk. Like we saw the receipts, it says he was drunk, but he's saying that he was lying about being drunk because he wanted the girl to feel bad for him whoever he was talking to. Um, but I guess he was, he got charged with distracted driving. He was on the phone, ended up crashing into a light pole. I think two different poles. Um, he was in the hospital, lied to YouTube and said that he sold his car, but really it was actually completely totaled. Um, he was drunk, pointed his camera at the ceiling and his monitor was showing addresses of his donors. Oh no, cyber. So it wasn't intentional, but it was like a stupid, he still did it, but it was a stupid, stupid, stupid mistake that only somebody under the influence <laughs> really could make. Um, wow. I'm good cleaning my fridge. Everyone, please know I reached out to S Jam personally and said if he wanted, okay, so Hugh reached out to S Jam personally and said if he wanted help, he could reach out. So it's not that he hasn't been offered help. He doesn't want it. He doesn't seem like he's there yet. I don't know. I don't know. You can tell when people still think the problem isn't that bad and that's the vibe I get, but I don't know. I don't watch enough of him to know anything. Um, okay, let's go to the S Jam stream really fast so we could get caught up with that. Um, we're not going to regularly cover him on here because like truly, I'm not trying to be, I just don't care about what goes on with him. Um, but this is this is a topic that is uh, needs to be talked about, and you know, um, I know people. I can already I already know the haters out there are going to be like, "Oh, but Breezy, you've had a DUI." It was when I was like twenty one and twenty three. Um, I'm forty years old now. I paid the price. I had a breathalyzer in my car. I went to the classes. I paid the fines. I went to a few mad classes. Um, others against drunk driving. I learned my lesson and. Um, it took me twice to learn it, but by the, the second time, I knew not to ever do it again. At the second one was no joke, the amount of classes that you have to learn. Um, before, I was stupid in my addiction, and I didn't think that my actions could ever have any consequences other than to me. So I just didn't really care, but it's not that's not the truth. The truth is my driving under the influence once, twice, could have taken out a family, could have taken out someone's mom, grandma, kid. You just don't know. It was stupid of me. I regret it. Um, so just know now you won't catch that happening by the grace of God. I have over five years sober and I don't make these mistakes in sobriety. Um, so I just want to say that right now. This topic needs to be discussed. We shouldn't be on the phone, distracted, driving. We shouldn't be live streaming, driving. We shouldn't be doing any of that. Like enough is enough. I'm sick of all these people getting away with doing stupid things on the road. We saw a foodie get away with way too much. So people need to wake up, grow up and start acting right. Um, 
I feel like a mom, like being on YouTube is not a right. It's a privilege. Having a phone, <laughs> having a car isn't a right. It's a privilege. Let's start respecting the things. Let's just start respecting. Um, I learned my lesson. Yeah. Sorry. There's somebody doing yard work, so it might be loud for a second. Okay. Let's go to, okay. So the live stream is live addressing naked and laughing drunken stream about me. So hold on. Before I share the screen, okay, yeah. okay, hold on. Um, so, okay, Chachi, right now we're gonna start barking. Now is gonna be the time. Someone's just outside mowing their lawn. It's it's good weather outside. We're good. We're good in here. Don't you worry. Um, so naked and laughing. I don't know. It came out that S. John was talking to like all these different women. And I guess one of them was naked and laughing. Um, during her stream, as Jem's calling her drunk or whatever, because during her stream, she kept taking shots and saying she had to drink before it and drink during it. She was obviously um, under the influence. And I'm not saying that to be mean. That was just obvious. And then she kept saying too, she's like, FFG and Breezy got it wrong. And I'm like, w when did I ever <laughs> talk about you or the situation? Like I... I think yesterday or the day before was the first time I had ever talked about this stuff. And I didn't even know who the naked and afraid girl was. Like, I had no clue who she was. I don't know if she's Jamie, Ariel, Jessica. There's so many of them. Um, I think and naked and afraid, naked and laughing. I think it came out. He was sending, he was paying her credit card bills for nudes. It's a whole rabbit hole, you guys. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, Blondie, just because we make mistakes doesn't mean we can't call out what we see. Hold on, I'm going to mute for a second. You guys go get a snack because Chachi is going to be barking right now. Um, go get a drink, go get a snack, and give me a few seconds and hopefully she'll stop. Will she stop now? Okay, SJAM, I think he does have a job. Let me share the screen. Let me share the screen, and if she barks, we'll just have the video playing. I feel a bark coming. I could just tell by the way. <laughs> Can you guys see? Okay, do you want the chat on or does it, um, whatever you guys want? Because I, I don't know if you guys can really see the chat anyways. Hey, Dr. Ray. I love Chachi. Let her talk. I know. I just feel bad because like what if somebody's like a mom or a dad or like they're trying to like watch their little YouTube videos late at night and the dogs are in the room and then my dog makes their dog bark and it wakes up the house. I think about stuff like that. Like I'm an overthinker. Um, you'll be listening in the background. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's hit play. And then let me know if you guys want me to take off the live chat. So again, this is S jams channel. The video is a live stream addressing naked and laughing drunken stream about me. Naked and laughing is going to release a video today with the actual screenshots, which really should be. She did by the way. It's a personal conversation. And once again, Jacqueline has fucked me around. Someone that I trust and trusted and said things to that exposes things about me when I've never exposed a goddamn thing about her or anybody. I've never exposed a conversation. I've never sent anyone's nudes. I don't make even laugh and trying to say I sent her nudes to people. I did not. I never sent them to anyone. Um... So I'm gonna start from the beginning. So as far as that there, goes, give it a couple minutes. In Naked and Laughing's video, she said that somebody like came into a live stream with her nudes, I think, as their profile picture. Um, if I get any of this wrong, I'm sure Naked and Laughing will make a video about it. So um I'm not that worried about it. Hey Brooklyn. I'm just, Volume is low. Now, like I'm being um threatened with Oops. I mean, and shit like that. And she's trying to mask it, people to mask all the police and get me arrested. So not Jacqueline naked and laughing. So I'm going to talk about it and, you know, I'm going to say the facts that they are and people can believe what they want. Um, I know things will look a certain way and that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't really change fucking shit. Um, nice. I just got home. We got like a random dumping of snow after work. There was like four or five centimeters of snow. I have more. No more cunts, only cats, right? I'm still losing my voice. Buddy. Who's a good girl? 
Should I speed this up? I know there's a way. I always you forget how to do it. Don't growl at them. Make him a little bit faster. That wasn't Jacqueline. There actually, we go. It's um, Nathan laughing that I'm having issues with that one. Actually, scratching my head as to why this is blowing up as bad as what it is. So she went on stream last night, pretty pissed drunk for about four and a half hours. It took her about four and a half hours just to say a little bit of tea on me. Um, so I start from the beginning. Wait, before yeah, you start laughing, from the beginning, how come nobody's talking about this is another male in our community that's talking to like. A bunch of different women. Again. Naked laugh, her name's Jessica. She messaged me in June after the foodie beauty shit and she was being supportive of, you know, me. Um, and that she was sorry that she didn't tell me to fool me and shit like that. And then she ended up sending me nudes. Now, I believe hey, she Phoenix, sent me nudes. Good to see you. She's claiming I, I'm saying that she only sent me nudes and never said anything. That's not what happened. Um, what happened was she said, what I remember happening is she sent two nudes and then she had a messages, messages following that. She's claiming that's not, not true. true. Third she time, you. Pictures from the conversation, it would it would say deleted, but I don't think with pictures that it does. Third that I know of. Um, either way, she ended up eating those pictures like pretty soon after. I never saved them or anything. She's accusing me of sending them to people. I never did. Um, so yeah, once in a while, I've been saying. Um, oh yeah, I just. Okay, I don't believe you. That I did unsolicited news. Sjam, I don't believe you, and you might believe that might be true. But I've seen you come online under the influence and how, you know, like I'll use me for an example. When I was drunk, I would do and say things I would completely forget about. And somebody had to tell me that I did them. That should have been a wake up call to me, but it wasn't. I, you could have sent them and not remember that you did. And that's a reality of alcohol. That's a reality when you drink so much, like, and you black out, you don't remember. Like I used to call people. I used to be like the drunk texter. Oh my gosh. I was the drunk rage texter. I was. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I think it's a possibility. And I think maybe you need to explore that more and check your phone and, or your laptop computer, or whatever, and see. Like, it's a possibility that you could have shared her nudes because you were mad. News, I wasn't sending her any back. She got pissed off. Um, basically, what happened after that, this is going to be a hell of a lot more clear than what her video was. My God, it was fucking torture going through four hours of that bullshit. Um, Basically, she was coming to my chat, and then she was going live. She had no following at that point. I think she had, like, 40 subscribers. Um, so she kept bugging me to come in her live. And, like, when I went in there, I was the only one in there. And, like, she got Ronnie to go in there a couple times. He was the only one in there. He just said, it's uncomfortable. It makes it weird you out. Just being the only one in there is just uncomfortable. I didn't like it. And then I wasn't answering her messages quick enough. But at first, we kind of hit it off because she has a bunch of cats. I thought she had 10. She's saying she has six. Um why was that, that was like an important why was that an important note to make like i guess he's trying to make the point like she lies about stupid things or whatever. she said she had 10 but i guess she has six like that's the most important thing that's going on about all this is she has six cats instead of 10 i'm joking but yeah someone who loves cats probably would be my soulmate so i mean whatever there's really nothing much there um so we talked back and forth and um I'm not going to ignore it because she's going to post the fucking screenshots today and then everyone's going to get my ass. So I want to just get this over with and say my side and then people can say what think what they want. I know what they're going to think. And honestly, the way it looks, it looks that way, but it's not. Um, so this is just the beginning. It's not in the fucking tea. Um, where's it going? So yeah, we were talking back and forth with, we were sending cat videos to each other and shit. And then eventually I got pissed off at her because, well, that's going too far. Um, yeah, these are grown fucking adults, okay? Older than me. Um, that are doing this shit to me. And anyways, we were talking back and forth with cat stuff. And then one time, she was getting mad at me because I wasn't coming in her live. And I wasn't talking to her on Facebook. And I said, I'm too busy with my own shit on YouTube. She claimed I said, I said, I'm too busy with the drama. Is this and real life? I don't care. Honestly, she was just like... She was mad because you weren't coming in. Okay. Talking to a this is real life, you guys. Person. These I'm are adults here. here. She seemed like an okay girl. Definitely it's nothing... You know, someone that probably has mental issues. I'm um, not saying I don't. Um, but yeah, we bonded over the cat thing for a bit. And then, yeah, she kept, kept repeatedly getting mad at me on Facebook for not messaging her, not coming in her lives. And she claims, and I said, okay, come in my live and then we'll, we'll talk. I'll have a talk with you. She said I never acknowledged her in my chats. And so she never came in. She's claiming because I did, she didn't come in my chat that I got mad at her and then I started shit with her. That's not true. 
Um, that was when I was kind of done with her. Yeah, she, it is suspicious. I I work. Work. And he is at Phoenix. She nope. For $50, I think. Um, she claimed that her eBay store wasn't doing good. And um, Joe, oh my gosh. She had to pay her minimum on her credit. So my thing, I always lost my ID and my cell phone when I was drinking. Thank God, most of the time, I lost my cell phone. When I was out there, like, thank God. I would probably, I don't know. I was the drunk rage texter. I totally was. Credit card bill. And um, it was a whole sob story about it. Um, at the time, I thought she was some single girl trying to raise cats. You know, just, you know, she said. A stuff single about, like, girl trying to raise cats? Her and caring about her. And she puts love into people and they don't, you know, reciprocate. And I felt bad for her, honestly. Um, she didn't seem like a terrible person, but there's definitely some emotional things going on. I'm not here to try to drag her, even though I fucking probably should at the shit she's just said. Um, so, um, yeah, she, and I'm like, I'll see. And she said, oh, I told, I said, I'll, um, let her know once I get, I'll give her the money when I get paid. I wasn't fucking working. I didn't work up until like October. This would have been in like June, July, August sometime, probably July or August. I'll have to look at my PayPal. Um, she, I thought she said 10 caps. She's claiming she has six. So don't go for the 10. So I was like, okay, I'll see. And then no, worse than not. Anyways she persistently was bugging me for like days after that asking about the money the money the money that she needed for her credit card well apparently she i ended up giving it to her it was like 75 dollars oh you did aaron it was it was way it was more canadian it was more canadian than american for 50 bucks whatever. i'm getting so distracted this is so all over the place so now she's claiming she had figured out her credit card and that she bought sushi with i know you. the only reason she was talking to me a single woman raising cats beauty, so she was trying to get some money out of it that's what she's saying now Honestly, I think she wanted me maybe to date me. She wanted to maybe do stuff with me. She made me send it just to her that I didn't do. Why would um, anybody want? Okay. This is way back in June. It does tell me that at girl. this point. So, like when I first came back in June, I had these like a few girls around me. Is that naked and laughing so, just trying to grow her channel? Nothing. Um. So she had sent them, and I was like, I was like, okay, you know, I'm like, okay, this girl obviously is wanting to be on my side because she's gonna trust me with her, you know, personal pictures like that. So. Um, anyways, yeah, I ended up giving the money that a couple, nothing happened a couple weeks later. I'm talking about the stupid car crash. Relax. Um, a few he's later, such a was, foodie. Time, he's just like movie. foodie, you guys. She um, sent me screenshots of people laughing going on reaction channels about me, you know, saying that I treated her badly. And Lazy was commenting, like, how did he treat you bad? I thought he gave you money because Lazy knew about it. Um, I went and responded. She had deleted her her comments. So she started going around talking shit about me, basically, and that's when I got pissed off. Um, so that's when I started saying, oh, she sent me unsolicited nudes and that she um, bugged me for money. And that once I found out recently that she lived in her with her parents, I kind of made comment that, you know, she really has no business asking anybody for money. If she's getting supported by her parents, she should have just asked them. Um, I said it, I think, a couple times over the last like few months. Um, and I mentioned her sending me like a, a fucking muff picture or whatever. So maybe I got a poke bear. Oh my gosh, he's so I mean, vile. I was pissed off that she was around talking shit about me after I fucking help you out, send you money that I didn't have. It wasn't money I had. I didn't pay my own bills because I was helping other people. Well, then you're stupid. Um, anyways, that's she on goes you. On the whole stream, she's calling me a cunt, piece of shit, drunk, piece of shit, alcoholic. S Jam, you really need to reflect on your life. If you don't have money to pay for your own needs and wants, why are you sending somebody money for a credit card bill? That doesn't even make sense to me like that. You, it's time to start adulting. And you're dragging this person, I don't know the whole situation, for getting support from her parents, but like you get support from your parents and you were just caught stealing from your dad on a live stream. Come on. As she's taking shots and getting drunk herself. And you're over explaining, like you're over explaining. So you automatically, like it just comes across as everything you're saying to me is one big lie. I'm trying to keep an open mind here, but. Come on. Telling her chat to don't let me get too drunk. So clearly someone who also doesn't have any control with alcohol. Um, so then she proceeds. You no, know, the video was on and fucking on and on. And about half hour, hour and a half through, she exposes some conversation I had with Jacqueline. Um, there was a night that was in November where I crashed my car, my SUV. I had told you guys I sold it. Technically, I sold it to the insurance company. But I had crashed it. Now there's fucking... In the conversation, I had told Jacqueline I had, was drunk. I wasn't actually drunk at the time. I was scared, scared that hey, I be good would to be see in my you. system as I had drinking earlier in the day. Um, I had drinking early, like earlier in the day, and I fell asleep. I woke up and I ended up going out. 
and I was talking on the phone with Jacqueline and I was either looking at my phone or the radio and I hit the dirt and I went, it pulled me in the ditch and I went through a pole, a hydro pole. Um, I was freaking out because I've had, you know, issues with, not issues, but I, I get scared as fuck around cops. So I automatically assumed that I was getting Because right, you're doing something, something wrong as jam, so did I. I. I'm going to explain the when I was out walking around drunk and doing stupid things, like whenever I saw a cop drive by, I would tense up and like, oh my God, they're going to come get me. <laughs> I just knew that police officer driving by or whatever was coming to get me. I just knew it. Stop driving drunk and then you won't like, I'm not, I'm just, I'm saying this, I'm speak saying this as far as S jam goes that like, and when you're drinking and you know you're doing something wrong, or when you ha you're high and you know you're doing something wrong, how like you you're always like I don't want I I don't like cops I don't want to be around a cop it's because you <laughs> and this is specifically for people in addiction that's all I'm saying it doesn't mean anybody else I'm not talking about police in general I'm talking about people who know they're effing up in addiction who are nervous about cops um I want to say too in the text that um naked and laughing showed he admitted that he tried to drive away from the accident so i can't remember if he talks about it in this live stream but um it's important to note he did try to drive away so if he didn't think alcohol was in his system anymore and he knew everything was fine and dandy and this was an honest honest mistake and he wasn't under the influence at all why did he try to drive away Right? Why did he try to drive away? I don't know. That's just something that's like I've been thinking about. Why? The whole thing. I was worried if I would have been at zero at that point. Yeah, um, Hugh. <laughs> so, I know. yeah, I put it through a pole. It was a bad accident. Cops, cops are there. shady. There two cops there. You know what? I want to say this, though, because I don't want anybody to think like I'm defending all cops or anything. Like, I, my partner um, is a black man and me and him had got Starbucks the other day and we had went to Barnes and Noble and went shopping and we were just like parked, um, just like talking and drinking our Starbucks and chatting it up, listening to music. And this cop kept circling us. It would drive away and come back. At one point, he drove up right next to our window on my, my baby daddy's side, looked at us straight in the eye and we were just like, cheers with our little Starbucks. Like, hi, we're not doing anything wrong. Um, and just like made eye contact with us and stared at us. And then he like went up a little bit and then he reversed and then came back and stared at us for like a few more seconds. It was very weird. So I'm not, I'm just, I want everybody to be very clear. I'm talking about a very specific thing in addiction. When you know you're doing something wrong and you know, you're effing up, you're scared of cops. You don't like cops. <laughs> when you truly have nothing to hide, why would you try and drive away from a car accident? I don't know. I know he says later that at the hospital they did blood work and um, his blood levels came back. There was no alcohol, but was it enough time that it was finally out of his system? I don't know. Because how long was he at the ER for and how, like, when did they finally draw blood? So if he had drank earlier in the day, this accident happened, it could have still been in his system at that time. And then if they tested him like hours later, maybe it was finally out. I don't know. Um, I know not a black man in Starbucks in the bookstore. Yeah. We were literally just sitting in the car playing music. Other people were around other people, but like, we weren't really around like a ton of other cars, but it was like a parking lot and they didn't do that to anybody else. And it happens to us a lot. Like, um, and that's sad. And I want to point that out. It's very sad. So, and it's a reality. I think I will never know what it's like to face that but I see what it's like being with somebody who has to face it and it's very sad it's a very it's awful um it was yeah it was like he was letting us know like he saw us and his presence needed to be known it was like oh no like <laughs> what, what's the issue you don't want us sitting here drinking a Starbucks like I don't know it's just weird it was very weird um oh it's okay Aaron I mean it's not okay but it's it's not okay at all, but I guess I'm just pointing it out because people don't think that this stuff actually happens, and it does. It does. One time we were parked in front of a park and um, waiting for our daughter to meet us there. She was with family, and a cop, like, wasn't really questioning us, but, like, was annoyed at our presence and didn't care that other people were parked there. Other people were waiting in front of the park. Like, it just bothered them that we were. Like, why us out of everybody? I was like, we're waiting for our daughter. We're not just hanging out at the park. Like, we're meeting her here, you know? Weird stuff like that happens, and it's sad. Um, 
Yeah, raising a mixed child in this effed up world. Yeah. And that's sad. That's another thing, too. Like, she has, even though, like, things are changing and times are changing, there's still a lot of people that are stuck in a very awful mentality. Like, that's a whole conversation for another time. Let's get back to the sus jam <laughs> because it's going to take, like, oh, my gosh. I have a lot to say on the issue. Like, I feel bad for her because she lives in a world where she's not white enough or she's not black enough. And it's very sad. It's very sad. Um, but she's strong. And um, she's proud of both of her parents. And she's proud of where she comes from. And uh, oh, she's beautiful. And if people can't see beyond her being mixed, then, like, something's desperately wrong with them, right? That's just my opinion, hey, Ariana. All right, let's get back to SGM. I forgot why I paused it in the first place. Sorry, we went off on a whole topic. Oh, I was trying to, okay. So I wanted to point out to you guys that he admittedly tried to drive away from the car crash, which I don't know. If I was a cop, I would automatically be like, okay, something's not like, right. Like, why would you try and drive away? But apparently, apparently that's not an issue. Three or four paramedics in the ambulance with me, firefighters. Um, yes, Jacqueline sent them to her apparently. I'm just finding out about it. Um, I did originally tell Jacqueline that I had been, I was drunk, that I was drinking, that I was going to jail. I was freaking out. I thought I was. Um, no one, and I went to the hospital. Um, I got blood tests done. I didn't have alcohol in my blood. I had freaked out, thought I did. I'd been arrested before. It was just anxiety. I freaked out. I texted my mom even and said, I'm getting, I'm going to jail. When in reality, I didn't do anything like that. Um, I it was doesn't add up, Aaron. Driving. Not one part of this. Court. Um, she's claiming police incompetent. She's threatening to call the police department and tell them that I was admitted to being drunk, which at the time I was scared that I was not drunk, but it was in my system enough. Because, I mean, in Ontario, you can't have even, like, 0.4. Like, there's nothing. 0.04. Um, so I, was I know why, Ariana. It's not funny. Uh, it wasn't. Isn't that fucking clear? Two police officers, four paramedics, firefighters. Not sure how many were there. There was bystanders that helped me out of the vehicle as well. They said nothing of the sort. Um, I kind of had an anxiety attack and freaked out. I was in the hospital. Okay, the only... You guys, I know people are like, Breezy, just because you went through it doesn't mean it's everybody's situation. I really am wondering if they t didn't test him right away. Like, the ER was busy. I don't know. Because, like, there was definitely a time where I thought I was under the influence. I'm telling you, I'm so glad I changed my ways. But there was definitely a time where I thought I was under the influence. And by the time I was tested, I wasn't. So it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I guess when you've been through so much an addiction and you've been through so much, it's easy to say, well, like this happened to me. I recognize this. So please don't think like I'm saying my situation is his situation. I'm just saying, I'm genuinely wondering if they didn't test him right away, if they didn't draw blood right away. I don't know though. It is blood. That's true. I don't know. My thing was with the breathalyzer. They didn't breathalyze me right away. So like by the time it was a whole, I'll talk about it one day, but um, I don't know. With blood, it's different. Drunk, but in a system, sounds unlikely. I don't know. It's I. This whole thing doesn't make sense to me at all. At all. So I'm just gonna assume everything's a lie. No, it doesn't make sense. It's a lie. Fucking impaired. Um, there was the cop then came back, talked to me. Um, no, they didn't test me. He didn't. They didn't see a need to. Obviously, there was no. I can show you the fucking. If you're going to do that fucking shit accusing me of what I wasn't, then I'm just going to block you because it's stupid. I'm telling you what the fuck it is. I have the police report. There's, there's no, no breathalyzer. There was, nothing, there was no reason to believe I was intoxicated. Just because you're telling us what it is, your version of the story, doesn't mean that's what actually happened. You get that, right? You really think two cops, fucking paramedics, and or, um, firefighters, nurses, and a doctor is going to all not notice that I'm impaired if I'm drunk? Like, come on. Um... I went in, I got a CT scan, I got fucking blood work done, there was no alcohol in my blood, and that was only a couple hours, that was about a couple hours after, the cop came and saw me, two hours later said, we're going to charge you with um, distracted driving, because I told them what happened, that I was distracted and went off the road. So Aaron, they didn't test Please him, I'm not gonna entertain it. I'm I guess they didn't do a breathalyzer at the actual site, um, they, they did a blood test later, so they didn't do like a hop on one foot and act like a duck or whatever, however that goes. Like, I wouldn't be able to pass those tests sober, you guys. Like, if today 
if today, let's say I was riding around on my electric scooter. <laughs> So the cop thought I was under the influence for some reason, which when I drive it, it kind of looks like it because I'm wobbly on that thing. But if they were like, hop on one leg, say the alphabet backwards, do I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I would fall over. I would have to like think about what the alphabet is like. <laughs> Some of those tests, I don't know. So anyways, to answer your question, they didn't do, it sounds like they didn't do a sobriety test there, that they just uh, waited and did uh, blood work at the hospital. That's what for, what I got, gather from watching all this stuff. I'm not entertaining it anymore. I'm not. I was anxi had anxiety about it. I did tell Jacqueline that I was drunk. I was trying to make her feel fucking bad for me. We were fighting. It was just after all her doxing of my shit and her doxing me and all that. So yeah, I was trying to get her to feel bad for me and it worked. Um, it wasn't actually the case. I was worried that it was going to still be in my system, but it wasn't. Um, as I said, there was blood work done at the hospital. And I'll say one more time. time there was That's two right, cops, Ariana. Three or four paramedics and at least a couple. With my little radio blasting, they see me rolling definitely on my scooter. You're going to catch me riding dirty. Firefighters. None of them, they all helped me, plus the four bystanders. That helped me out of the vehicle. Okay. There was no one, not one person said anything about me smelling or acting impaired. So at the hospital, my heart rate was elevated. I was having a bad anxiety attack. They um, they kept me because of my heart rate was so high. Um, they were really short on doctors and stuff. So I was Your there heart hours. rate must have been through the roof, Ash Jam. I'm sure anxiety plays a part. But when you are dependent on alcohol, like you seem to be like I was, your heart rate, like when you're coming down. What a place to be paused at. Oh, geez. Hold on. Can somebody take a screenshot of this and send it to me? Um, my heart rate was always like through the roof. Like whenever I would go into detox or even a few hours like without alcohol in my system, it was always through the roof. So imagine that on top of just getting into a car accident and all that. It must have been insane. Um, I got a bunch of blood work done, like I said. Um, Functioning, yeah. I got a CT scan, an MRI. Um, and then she did something where she was like a ultrasound where she was going around my heart and shit. Um, they didn't, there was nothing as far as alcohol in my blood at that time. No, it was still bad. Regardless if it wasn't drunk, I still fucking put up myself into a bowl. No, I think I must have been mad at me or no, it, well, she must have been drunk and fucking couldn't keep it to her. Aaron, baby daddy wears his hat like that sometimes, but he can pull it off. So am I annoyed that SJM's doing it? No. Do I think he can pull it off? No. I think just because you can doesn't mean you should most of the time. That's my thoughts so, on that. Um, um, but I mostly got, like I said, I don't always gotta believe it. I don't really care what you want to believe because there's the facts behind it. Cops don't just let you off on drunk driving. No, it wouldn't have been good. I would have been in jail. I would not currently have a license. But yeah, still, I drank earlier in the day. I slept, but then I went out. Um, I was distracted. I let myself get distracted. Now you're fucking go fuck yourself. Um, I swear, him and Chantal are twins. They were separated yeah, at birth, and they just don't it. know it. I was distracted. I let myself get distracted. It does make his head look like an ace. Raining. Put it in a fucking into the pole. All right. Well, listen yeah, well, to a few more minutes anyways, of this, you guys. That's my next point now. Oh, what's your and next point? She's now threatening to call the cops and show this message. Okay, well, you can't, it's already been through court. You can't go back in time and make a fake fucking blood test that shows I'm drunk or a fake breathalyzer test. Like, they had, they did not have any, it was their prerogative that I wasn't needing a breathalyzer test. So that's them. Like, she wants to claim incompetence? You can't go back in time and produce a fucking test. I mean, me saying I'm drunk in a text is not going to hold up in court. Yeah, cyber alcohol did that to me. I still I have not. them though. I still have the dark circles. Um, I think genetics plays a part. I think like I've always had kind of like darker eyes, but when um alcohol, I don't know what it did to my skin and to my eyes, but it definitely made the circles under my eyes darker. And then it gave me like really large pores. Like my pores were so I'm still trying to fix my skin from it. So the eye bags are probably from the alcohol use. I don't think he's a casual drinker, you guys. I don't know him. Hi, Chachi. 
I don't know him. I don't watch him enough to know about his drinking. I just know I could see I could see addiction written all over his face. I could see the alcoholic eyes because I had them where they were always glassy, always red, always just that. Um, he wrecked his car by distracted driving, went to the hospital, checked out and ticketed big deal. Yeah. He got charged by the way. He ends up saying that, um, the police came back to his room and charged him with distracted driving. Um, so I'm glad he got charged with something like he could have killed somebody. I think he, he stayed in the hospital and had a neck brace. We'll watch a few more minutes of this, you guys. And then we're going to go to, please don't let me say his name wrong. King Cobra saying King Cobra. Um, and watch the deleted birthday stream. Yeah, he looks like a pro drinker. It, it just, drinkers have a look. I had that look. You could take one look at me. I remember going into meetings and like old timers taking one look at me and they didn't even have to ask my addiction. They're like, alcohol, huh? It's like, yeah, you just have a certain look. The bloated face, the skin, the redness, the eyes that look like just complete glass, you know, it's, it's a certain look. Yeah. He admits to it, but I don't think he realizes how bad his problem is and he won't, he won't, he has these things happening. Um, I had major things happening too, like DUIs, you know, stuff like that. Um, getting tickets for drunk in public, uh, saying things I regret doing things. I regret, uh, needing alcohol, now, when I wake up in the morning, like hangover, what? We don't know what a hangover is. We just drink it away. Um, and I didn't think I had a problem through all that. Well, I thought I, I knew I had a problem eventually, but I didn't know how bad it was really until the day it took me signing over my rights to my daughter's dad and me going off to rehab. That was a moment where I knew I'm like, you messed up bad. Like, this isn't just a little problem or a little habit or, you know, a bad habit on the weekends. It's it's a full-blown issue. Um, yeah, he admits it then denies when something bad happens. Yeah, Phoenix, I just, I don't think he realizes how bad it is. Fix him up with MFW. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I've been checking in on her. I'm not covering her because I'm flat out just worried about her. Um I don't like the stuff that she does and says, but like if something happened to MFW and I made like this horrible stream, if something happened, cause like, I think she's at the point, you guys, I'm not saying any of this is fact. So nobody come for me. Like I recognize where she's at in her drinking. And I was like that I needed it in the morning. I took a beer into the bathtub with me. I needed a beer to do chores. I needed a beer was always at my side. And at, at some point, Towards the end of my drinking, I needed alcohol in my system every 30 minutes or I would get severe shakes and sweats and it was bad. Um, yeah, Cyber, I'm worried about her too. I don't know. And then she has somebody that's not really telling her, no, like this isn't good for you. You shouldn't be doing this. Let's do something other than drink when we have date nights. Um, so it's just, it's bad because she doesn't have somebody there telling her no. Um, so that's just a dangerous place to be in. <laughs> and then she brags about that he has money. So he has endless funds to get her what she needs. Right. It's just, it's a scary situation and I'm not talking shit. I'm talking reality. I'm talking addiction right now. I'm worried about MFW and I won't be covering her at all. Hopefully the next time I cover her will be her, you know, saying I'm going to go get help. I will cover that and I will support that if she goes and gets help. Um, but I just, I don't know where he was driving while drunk. Yeah, there there's, I think there's a few streams of that, Aaron, her teeth and skin. Are, well, alcohol, it really robs you. Like I looked so much older when I was drinking. I think I did anyways. Um, it just, it ages you. But the good news is like, once you get some time sober, the, you know, you could reverse things. You could fix things. The life comes back in your eyes. Your skin is plump again. Um, you know, there's just, you feel a lot better. <laughs> All right, let's watch a few more minutes of this and then go to King Cobra. I don't care what people say. So, people don't want to believe it. That's fine. Yes, I fucked up. Put my car into a fucking pole. That's the first accident I've been in since I was 20 years old. So, get over it. Yes, I lied and said I sold it. 
because of this exact reason, because I know everyone would have assumed it. Um, again, last time I'll say yes, I said that to Jacqueline. I was trying to make her feel bad. So I'm not going to make her worry about me. So, believe it or don't. The text, I don't have them anymore. Um, Nikita Laughing has them. She's apparently going to expose them today. Uh, she did, um, you guys. You can find the receipts over there if you want to look at the Yes, text. I did say that to her. I had drinking earlier in the day. So, yes, I was scared that it could have still been in my system. And that was wrong. I shouldn't have, you know, taken that risk if I thought maybe it could have still been there. But luckily it wasn't. And I've taken that as a wake-up call. And, you know, I understand, you know, with my alcohol problem, I have to be very careful about the things that I do. Um, you know, I don't want her to... See, me. that's bad. Luckily it wasn't. I just had a fucking panic attack. That's how you know his addiction is bad. And I really hope he realizes how bad it is. Wow. That statement said a lot to me. I freaked out. I know. He told us get over it. Huh. So I'm just saying it now because I know the screenshots are coming out later. Um, there's pictures of my car. Honestly, there's no license plate on it. You can't fucking prove it. it's mine. But it is my car. I did send them to Jacqueline. I fucking trusted her. Once again, I've been fucked over. I've done nothing but love this girl. Give her all my fucking time and love. And yeah, earlier in the day, it was like 10 o'clock at night. I drank at like noon. So, yeah, it's possible it could have been there, but luckily, like I said, it wasn't. So, I just want to make that point that if you think if she's really going to claim this police incompetence bullshit, it's not going to hold up. Because there's not, no way that two cops, four paramedics, several fucking fire off, firemen, whatever, um, nurses and doctors, none of them, one, not one person. Actually, that about it. Hold Seriously, on, Cyber. I'm going to look happened. on my phone. I think it was it's yesterday. Not at all. It would have smelled on my breath. It would have smelled like me sweating it out, whatever. So, luckily, it wasn't there. I mean... I'm not dressing anything like Ronnie. She was just very vulgar in the video. She's gone way over the top. I've literally all I've ever said was I knocked at her. Um, asked it was her a day ago, Cyber. Her parents should be, should, fucking, should be paying her bills, not me. Um, and then I said about her sending me unsolicited news. That's all I've said about her. Again, okay, you and this girl need to stop doing the things and saying the things you guys are complaining about. She's complaining at your about your drinking while taking shots the whole live stream. You're complaining her parents support her when your parents support you. Weren't they paying your rent? Didn't they give you an apartment or something? I don't know. I'm just saying, like, don't complain about it. Again, we saw you on a live stream steal money from your parent. Like, come on. Um, and she proceeded to call me a drunk piece of shit a million times. Um, yeah, she did do that. Well, doxing my full name, encouraging people to call the police and report me, um, which is illegal. So she claims tomorrow or whatever today, whenever she wakes her drunk ass up, that she's going to call the police. Regional police See? And Try to get me charged. So, do you guys see, see what I'm up, saying? So that's be pressing charges against you. These two are calling each other drunks while both having drinking problems. Like, he just called her a drunk and he's having to explain away how he basically got really lucky and didn't get a DUI or kill someone. Oops. Harassment and bullying and doxing my shit. I don't understand why people think it's a fucking K to be spreading people's personal conversations around all the time. Like, you can't, it's not a normal thing to do. It's not what normal people fucking do. You don't dox people's conversations. It's so stupid. I've had it happen to me with every fucking girl. This girl I've been with six months. Doxing all my, my shit. shit. Esther. Yeah, I told her not to fucking, fucking talk, talk to her. This is the part where I'm going to get annoyed at you because you're just like foodie beauty. Did you not learn anything? Why are you talking to 500 different subscribers or people who follow you or in your community? Take some responsibility. You're messy. You're messy, dude. Take some accountability. She can't be trusted. And look what she did. And now I get a message from you. Is Mom, this real so life, sorry, I told her not to do it. Why the fuck would you send her my shit? I sent that to you, my girlfriend, of six months. As, like, what the fuck? Shit doesn't need to be all over the place. Yeah, maybe I need help, but what I'm being accused of did not fucking happen. So, I don't fucking drive. I know it's not cool. I'll go to fucking jail, ruin my fucking life. I'll lose my job. I'll lose my car. I'll lose my license. I'm not fucking going to do that. You say that sober. But when you're under the influence, you think it's not that bad and you think you can still drive right. 
I, you don't realize how bad your problem is. If you don't get it under control, you will get behind that wheel again. You will. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's about all I got to say about it. Jessica's in the chat and I think she's probably going to cover it later. So, I mean, I know people are going to believe what they want to believe. It doesn't matter what I say. So, honestly, it's just frustrating and I'm sick of people trying to ruin my life. Like, I'm already paying, going to pay dearly for this charge that I did get. Um, distracted driving is not a fucking joke either. It's very bad of me. Um, I don't yeah. feel good about it. Um, luckily, it got me out of a vehicle that I couldn't fucking afford. Are you serious? Um, okay. But, I mean, luckily, it got me out of a vehicle I couldn't afford. He hasn't learned anything. He hasn't. He's ruining his own life. Exactly, Phoenix. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Him and Foodie are twins separated at birth. Like, you cannot tell me otherwise. All right, let's go to, I want to watch the Dragon Lord Frodo, you guys. Birthday. Not, I keep calling him Dragon Lord. King Cobra. <laughs> King Cobra. Um, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Okay, so it's another birthday, another disaster, deleted 32nd birthday stream by Boglum Chronicles. So let me go ahead and put this on. Hold on, let me pause it and we can finish up our conversation here. Um, oh, Jessica Musco is in the chat, but I think the Naked and Laughing is also named Jessica. I don't know. I'm confused because there's an Ariel, two Jessicas, a Jamie. I know there's others. I just don't know. They're, I can't remember. But um, yeah, it's just, it's wild to me how he takes no accountability. And then, like, he's still finding a positive in this. Like, no, there's nothing positive about what you did. Well, at least you got me out of a car payment. No. Like, stop. <laughs> no. Like, I'm all about, I try to find positives in everything, but there's some situations where you need to look at yourself and realize it's just a sh shitty situation you put yourself in, and it's really, really bad, and you have to just sit in that. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? There's a difference between when something bad happens to you and, it's out of your control and you're just trying to find like, there must be a lesson in this. Like there's a reason, like something better is coming for me. But then there's like stuff where you need to realize I was, I was distracted driving possibly under the influence. I got really lucky. I didn't kill somebody. I need to change my life today. But he's like, well, <laughs> got me out of a car payment. That's just wild to me. I don't know. Well, the I don't know, Hugh. I'm so confused. If it if the naked and afraid girl is Jessica, then she showed her face on a channel on her own channel. Oh well, the Aaron. That's a th that's a thing. If it got him sober, it could be a positive. Yeah, it would be a positive, definitely. Um. Okay, let me share the screen. Let's watch this. Let's. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Hopefully, Boglum Chronicles doesn't mind us covering this. Does anybody mind sharing the link? Actually, let me do it really fast. I could do it. Copy. All right, hold on. Let me share the video. All right, let's check this out, you guys. I think this is my second time watching King Cobra. Second time. <laughs> It's my birthday today. I'm 32 officially. It's my birthday. You don't have to donate to Cash App or PayPal, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. Uh -huh. <sighs> Is there an echo? Donating a dollar and calling me a bitch for deleting my shout out video. Fuck you. Oh. And fuck my YouTube trolls trying to trick me into shouting out sickos. You people are fucking disgusting. Oh. I got plenty of people that want to give me money, dude, so I don't need your donation that badly. Okay. Lou says, you better not go live and celebrate your birthday, boy. Here's a dollar. What look like I'm doing, motherfucker? <laughs> what? What was that? Okay. It says, Josh continued to stream not knowing his phone was pointed at his computer screen. So is this where he accidentally doxes people? I'm assuming it's going to be blurred. Please be blurred. For almost two hours, you could see the full names and addresses of all his fans 
who donated for his birthday. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I got four Bud Light Platinums. Oh no. Oh. Like Cobra, you better not go live, boy. It's like you better not watch my video, troll. No one's forcing you to watch, dude. Jerry says, thanks for the shout out, man. Made my night. Fuck the trolls. You're welcome, Jerry. Thank you for your uh, donation. Wolfgang says, your troll's mental health and being isn't good anymore, Cobes. I agree, dude. My trolls are fucking mentally insane. And they need more, more help, help than, than I, I do. do. Oh. Man, I'll give you one dollar. Dude, what's your address for DoorDash, true fan? I'm not giving out my address. No, uh, just you give out everybody me, else's. Uh, do food hacks. Put some money in my cash app and PayPal and I'll do it. Fuck Wings of Redemption. Thank you for your $1.36 donation. I own the trolls. Otherwise, they wouldn't care if I go live. You know? Okay, I may be overthinking this, but does anybody else get kind of like, eh, when somebody's like, thank you for your $2 donation or whatever? It should just be like, thank you for your donation. Like, don't shout out how much it is. Because, like, what if it makes somebody feel bad? And, like, that's, you know, they gave you the $2 that they budgeted for the week that they put towards whatever. Like, I just think it's mean when people do that. Does anybody else feel that way? I might just be overthinking it, but I don't know. You know, that's the fucking truth. Shout out to... I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to shout out your buddy's YouTube channel because it sounds racist when you uh, read it out loud. 87 bucks in PayPal. Holy shit. Well, sometimes Cyber... Happy birthday. 137 might be after they deduct a fee. Like, for example, if somebody sends me something through a certain app, it might deduct like a dollar fee or two dollars. So maybe they sent or like however many cents. So maybe they sent a certain amount and they sent it to a certain app where it deducts a fee. I don't know. Um, or unless it was a super chat. I don't know. I can't see his screen. So I don't know if he's getting PayPal donations or Venmo or Cash App and he's thanking people or this is all on super chats. Um, yeah, so basically, foodie is a dime a dozen. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Q one dollar or a hundred dollars. Yes, thanks for the dono symbol. Yeah, I don't know. I always think that's weird on people, um, or especially if somebody donates a lot and then right after somebody donates, you know, a dollar, two dollars, and that they might have been proud, like that's what they budgeted for. And somebody's like, Thank you for the hundred and fifty dollar donation. Oh, thank you, so and so, for a dollar thirty seven. Like, do you realize how that sounds? I don't know. It always irks me when creators like read out the amount. I, I just think it should just be like, thank you. <laughs> just thank you. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I don't know. Broken to me, man. Fucking hell. Yeah, fuck the trolls, man. They don't have what I have. Better not enjoy your birthday, boy. Here's a penny. Well, Brandon, I can tell I enjoy my life more than you enjoy yours. Oh, I'm going to enjoy my birthday, even if I don't get laid. I don't, quite frankly, give a shit. Happy birthday, you fat, ugly monster. Well, thanks, Kyle. I can tell your life is more ugly than mine. How oh, does that sheesh. work? I'm going to bully Cobra by giving him a dollar. That'll show him. My shoulders are fucking dumb, dude. Yeah, boobs are nice, man, especially when they're of age. Oh, my gosh. Alive, cisgendered, consenting, non-related, and human. Oh, my gosh. Human. I. Uh, hey, Cobra, I wish say? I could do two shots with you. I'm so jealous of you. We got another troll donation. You do realize that if you're 17, you can't serve alcohol, you stupid, jealous motherfucker. Oh. Let alone doing what I did at the concert with that cocktail waitress, you stupid, stupid, stupid motherfucking trolls. Oh my gosh. And I refuse to let these fucking assholes ruin my birthday. Flat out refuse. You guys, I did Apple my birthday all now, wrong. So I, I did my birthday all wrong. I was happy. I was in a good mood. I even complimented Foodie, I think. Hung out with you guys. I managed to, like, successfully go the whole day without insulting anybody. I should have came on in rage. I mean, Foodie did it. He did it. Like, I'm so sorry that I failed you guys. Like, my next birthday, 41, prepare for me to come on and just, like, curse everybody out. I mean, ooh. I can have it charged and focus on uh, hey, doing all these shout outs here. Don't worry about my taxes this year. My dad takes care of that. No, I report all my donations, all, all the money I make to the IRS. And this is all done strictly as a self employed person, which means I may end up paying them money instead. And that's what it is. It is my birthday. I am officially 32 years old. Phoenix, should I like do a redo and tomorrow can be my birthday too and I'll just come on and be like, it's my birthday, so F you and your dog. Like, I'm going to tell everybody off. Watch out. Watch out. Old. 
Oh, that was terrible. I'm going to go eat some Cobra to say some fucked up shit. These people have fucking problems, dude. Drink some platinum on us, Cobra. Happy birthday. Why is your camera pointing to the ceiling? Because I feel like it. Hey, Kyle. Because I feel yourself. like it. One dollar holler. How will you disappoint your dad? That's just going to be... Today, that's my response to anything. When anybody asks me a question at home, or if I go run errands, why? Do, how did you find this? What? How, why are you doing this? Any kind of question is just going to be... My response will be because I feel like it. I'm going to throw up a peace sign. Dad, today, you fat ape. Oh, my I'm gosh. I'm over a dollar just to talk shit. Oh. Because I have no life. Happy birthday, Cobra from Patrick. Why don't you ride bike anymore? I do, but my bike is broke. Oh, Here's a dollar. a dollar to help with the upcoming dental debt. You better not dox me, boy. Hey, James, go fuck yourself. James. Happy birthday, Josh. Another year of you achieving absolutely Poor nothing. James. Can't wait till the IRS finds out how much money you made and your SSI gets taken away. There's that asshole's fucking address. Oh. Have fun with that. Oh, my gosh. And you, you do realize that by saying, ironically, you're contributing to give me money, you stupid motherfucker. As I've wow. explained before to my audience on YouTube, I can't get a real job here in town because the fucking trolls will fuck with me and get me fired. Okay, I'm sick of that excuse. Um, Soren, we covered that at the beginning of the stream. Um, yeah, we, we covered that and the Drader calling her about her warts, yeah. So that's, if you go all the way back, you'll see that. Um, yeah, he did it purposefully that time. Maybe before it was an accident that time. That's not cool. People don't deserve platforms if they're going to abuse it by doxing people, hooking up with their audience, all that stuff. Like, not okay. Like, it's a right, not a privilege to have a platform. Use it responsibly. Um, he's an, like, wow. Is this, is this how he is all the time? Is this like, if we watch him more, is this what I have to look forward to? Like, just somebody cussing everybody out the whole time? Is this what he does? Joe's taking notes for his big 60 <laughs> in May. <laughs> I expect you to wake up on your 60th birthday and leave me a comment, Joe. Like, F you, Breezy. Yeah, you can tell me off. Like, I'm expecting a birthday rage from you. Yeah, first and last names. Like, no, it's not okay. Or sharing private info. Um personal private moments where a person may not want to be here anymore things like that like people don't deserve platforms if they do that you better save these donations for the dentures you're going to need soon i don't give a fuck faith huffany air duster lately laughed my ass off yeah thanks for your dollar 329 bucks, bucks man and the donations just keep, keep coming in oh wow yes Six years without sex, teeth rotting, people only watching you to see you get drunk and fall over, bald, never changes clothes, has a legion of fangirls, that's what's up. Oh. And you're jealous, otherwise you wouldn't talk shit. <laughs> I can still pull fangirls despite having nasty ass teeth and going bald. What the fuck does that say about me? That I'm better looking than you are. Um, you know why people love watching me get drunk and fall over? Because it's more entertaining than watching my trolls do it. Watching my trolls drink their life away because they're fucking jealous of King Cobra JFS. And if they weren't jealous, they wouldn't talk shit or for fucking go out of the way to harass me, man. Oh. So thank you to all my awesome fans for your generosity and donations. And thank you to Cradle of Filth for coming to play in, play in uh, Colorado Springs. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Still wearing the shirt, dude. Who? We smoke a cigarette like we smoke trolls. And my trolls are more cancerous than these things are. smoke aren't. trolls. No, some of these donations I get from my trolls are fucking hilarious. They're like, oh, you're a 32 years old Cobra and you haven't achieved shit. I'm like, then what the fuck is my Etsy store? What the fuck are all the subscribers on my YouTube? Oh. I'll catch you later. That makes me sad. Oh, hold on. What does it say? It makes me sad if when people think like they've made it because they just have a YouTube channel or they have money or people are donating X amount during the stream. Like... I feel like I knew, I feel like I've made it in life because I'm finally at a point where I love myself. I'm happy with the choices I'm making. I have everything I need, the, everything I want. Uh, maybe not everything I want, but I have everything I need. And that's like the most important thing. I'm safe. I'm loved. I have family. I have animals. Like that, that to me, like I have people who reach out to me and ask me for help and like trust me with that. Like, that to me 
feels like I made it. Like I might not be a billionaire, a millionaire. I may never be. And I'm okay with that. Like I'm happy with what I have right now, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so across the screen, it says Josh deleted the stream and returned shortly after to say sorry. Oh, we're getting an apology. What up, YouTube? Thank, Thank you, you to the fans who donated to my stream earlier. I want to say I'm sorry to my true fans. I did not mean to accidentally dox your addresses, but you have no idea what the fuck I go through as an individual. My trolls are fucking assholes and they need to be arrested. I'm getting sick and tired of this crap. They're so fucking jealous of Cobra they can't admit it. No, if my trolls were doing a fucking live stream, I wouldn't give them shit. Not even the time of day, dude. It makes my stomach turn every time he shows a beer can. Not because I'm judging him. Bud Light and Bud Loritas were my, like, go-to. Like, if I was really broke, I would drink those, like, what are they called? Hurricane, Thunderstorm, Tornado. I don't know. It's, like, one of those with, like, 12% alcohol. And they were, like, I'm sure they're more now, but I think you could get them for, like, $1.99 or, like, $1.25 or $1.50, depending where. Um, they taste like absolute crap. But it just makes my stomach turn because I remember all those times, like all those mornings feeling like crap and having to reach for a warm Bud Light or, you know, walking to the liquor store to get a Bud Lorita because I think those was, was what they were called, Bud La Margarita, something like that. But I would drink a lot of those because they had more alcohol in them. Um, I don't miss it. It makes my stomach turn. Colt 45. Oh, yeah. There, what was another one that was absolutely disgusting, but it had a high... Um, alcohol percentage i don't know like just throughout the day to maintain it would be like a case of bud Light. like i would drink a case um late at night to get through the mornings i would have to go to the liquor store to get this stuff with like more like 12 percent in it um for loco the times i tried those each time it sent me to the er so <laughs> that wasn't a huge part of my story every time i had one of those it makes me absolutely sick thinking of how it tastes actually like yuck but um, every time I drank those to, like, get over a withdrawal or to, like, get something in my system right away, it, it landed me in the ER <laughs> every single time. Malt, oh, mixed malt liquor. Oh, gosh. Yuck. I don't miss any of that, Mad Dog. I don't think that was. There was. I did drink Cobra a few times. Um, it wasn't Mad Dog. I have to remember, it's been so long, it feels like so long now, um, I feel like they were, like, named weird things, like, Thunderstorm, or Lightning Bolt, or, like, they were, like, weird names, oh, Four Loko's disgusting, I don't miss it, I'm telling you, every time I tried to drink those, I think one time I had three, and one night I ended up in the ER, like, I do not miss alcohol one bit. I wouldn't go on their fucking stream and go, you better not watch Cobra's videos, boy, because that's stupid, I do not care. But my trolls are too fucking lazy to do their own thing and just leave me the fuck alone. It's beyond pathetic, dude. So again, to my fans, I would like to apologize for accidentally doxing your addresses. I'm uploading a video right now doing a KFC food review, which was really fucking, fucking tasty. tasty. A KFC food here. review. I apologize, I apologize in that video, video too. too. A KFC food review? I wanted to go live quickly and just be like, hey, it's my 32nd birthday, and I really appreciate all my awesome fans who donate their money and time and energy into me. And fuck the trolls. I'm not going to let them ruin my birthday, dude. I didn't think the camera was angled to see everyone's addresses like that. My YouTube trolls stalk Ellen, and then they accuse me of doing it, which is so fucking stupid because I've left that poor girl the fuck alone. And it's fucking disgusting, these assholes. I keep telling these fucking trolls they're going to go too far with it, and they're going to end up being, getting arrested. You think it's funny bullying somebody with autism? You're a miserable fucking piece of shit. You know that? That's it's like, like if you hate Cobra, Cobra why, why the fuck do you give me money to talk shit? shit? That's stupid. This is a sensitive topic, but... Like, my nephew um, is on the spectrum. And, like, we still have to teach him. He can't do and say certain things. We still have to guide him. We still have to... Um, be the responsible adults, right? And um, even though, you know, he is on the spectrum, like, you still have to teach them. And, like, I know 
King Cobra is an adult, but I think his family is involved in his life. Like, I wonder if they ever say anything or like try and step in. Um, Cause I would think even like when my nephew's an adult, like if I saw him self-destructing or behaving a certain way, like I would still try and step in or like encourage them to maybe, <laughs> I don't know, act differently. It's just, I don't know. Like nobody should be bullying him because he's autistic, but also like, you are autistic and you are, are saying these things. So like, I don't know. Does this make sense to anybody? It's such a sensitive topic. I, so the best I can do is put myself in the future and imagine like, I love my nephew. I want him to live the best life possible. He's amazing at sports. Like that's his thing. He's amazing at sports. Like he's so good at sports. It's incredible. Um, but if he was behaving in a way that was self-destructing, I love him enough to guide him in the right direction, right? I don't know. It's inter It's an interesting thing to discuss, at least. I mean, I'm not complaining because I'll still take your money and run with it, cuz. But I'm just saying, dude. No, but seriously, I don't want to see my fans get the harassment I get. They get so much crap just for supporting King Cobra, and it's sad. It's what it is, dude. My trolls harass the apartment I'm at. It doesn't work. Because my landlord supports my fucking videos, and so do my neighbors. Do you think if my trolls had a fucking birthday, they'd have a bunch of loyal cult following fans give them 400 plus dollars? Fuck no. Shit. And you do realize this is the only joy that my YouTube trolls get out of my YouTube channels when I talk about the mean shit that they do to me. Outside of that, you have nothing. Oh. Nothing. Well. And if I got off of YouTube after doing my shout out video for a couple days, it wouldn't fucking matter because I'd still be more famous than these fucking assholes who bully me. Wow. You know, no, I'm sick of it, dude. They harass Danny Filth and Ozzy Osbourne. They harass my friends, my family, my fans. It's like, what the fuck did I do to these people other than exist? You know? But yeah, oh man, it's gosh. my birthday. She I'm officially like 32 Shani. years old today. I want to keep going for as long. I just had deja vu. How many times have we heard Shani say she's just trying to exist? As long as I can. Fuck suicide. Fuck the trolls. Great apology. And video, fucking right thank you to all my awesome fans. Again, I'd like to apologize. I wasn't trying to dox your address. I was just trying to read shout outs and charge my phone. Like I said, fuck the trolls, man. I'm not going to let them ruin my 32nd birthday. Seems like they did. You've they tried this hard to fuck with me because they're jealous of Cobra. It is what it is. If you re-upload that live stream that I did earlier, you're going to get your channel taken down. The day of reckoning is coming. I warn my trolls right now. You fuckers have harassed me nonstop for the last 10 plus fucking years. Thank God. You know what? And your shit's going to end. If the trolls truly. We all curse a little bit, right? Like I try not to because I feel like I sound really dumb when I curse. But like we all do. We all do. Thank God. Like I'm the only one home right now with his mouth. I swear. Bothered me. I'd stop making videos. I'd stop dressing goth and doing my thing. Fuck the trolls. We know. I'm going to dox my YouTube, YouTube troll shit, shit to get inside their fucking tiny ass head. I'm already there. He's so sorry, you guys. I'm going to Danny Filth, motherfuckers. And, and fuck, fuck the, the trolls. trolls. Literally. Oh, wait. Hold on. We'll watch the last few minutes. Literally, I hope I'm never involved in, like, another internet scandal. But if I am, I'm taking the page out of his book. Like, accountability? Who's she? I'm going to be like, F you. And your hamster. And your parakeet. And your little dog, too. And your cousin that lives in Missouri. Like, I'm going to cuss everybody out. That's how it's going to be. Like, I'm doing everything wrong. My birthday, I spent it being happy. The nerve of me. I should have been raging. I should. I, I'm doing it all wrong, you guys. And I'm so upset you guys are holding me accountable. Like, I'm messing up in life. I'm doing everything wrong. So, what is this? The circle of protection on. What is this? Oh, are these all the people that he doxxed? I recognize one name so far. Parado eyes. I used to say their name wrong, you guys. Whenever they would comment, I used to call them period eyes. Oh, 
these are Boglum supporters. I thought they were people that <laughs> King Cobra docks because it said circle of protection. So I thought it was like, oh, let's keep these people in our thoughts since he just docks. Okay, so these are, this is the end of the video, you guys. Um, Boglum, let's see, hold on. I don't want to get their channel name wrong. Do, do, do. Let me double check. We'll definitely watch more videos from them. Boglum Chronicles. So let me share their channel in the chat. Um, I am going to go eat lunch, you guys. I am craving a veggie sub so badly right now. <laughs> a veggie sub and vitamin water. Um, oh, those are his friends, the ones he has in his circle. Got it. I had that wrong, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys know what's up because I would have got that completely wrong. So those are subscribers, friends, supporters, have nothing to do with King Cobra, right? <laughs> the usernames, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I need to cover his cooking videos, Aaron and I. Yeah, you guys, if you have videos you want me to cover, um, please send them to me. I'm open to covering um, really anybody. I was, I really wanted to cover Tila Tequila more, but oh my gosh, she, it's just so bad, the stuff she's saying, and I just don't want it on my channel. That tells you how bad it is. She says some of the most racist and vile things, and me as a person who loves a black man and has a mixed daughter. I don't want that shit on my channel ever. It's bad. So like, I'm not covering Tila anymore. Like as far as that goes, um, unless something like groundbreaking happens, like I'll cover her, but, um, I'm open to covering, um, who you guys want to see. So just, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Same name is here. My email is just brazen today at mail.com, not Gmail. Cause I think some people get that wrong. They're like, I emailed you and I don't get it. So it's at Gmail. I hardly check Instagram. So your best bet in reaching me is email. <laughs> um, email or Twitter. Um, or just leave a comment saying, hey, can you look at so-and-so's new video? Carly. Who's Carly? Tell me about Carly. I don't know. I don't know who a lot of people are because I feel like foodie beauty stuff takes up a majority of my YouTube time. So, like, it's hard to watch everybody else or other people. So, like, if if there's someone specific that you want me to cover, let me know. Carly, I don't know. Thank you. I'm I'm so hungry. I don't know. I really just want the subway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, wherever you are. Phoenix, um, we'll cover a cooking video. Um, Cyber or Aaron or one of you guys will send me a video you want me to cover. So um, she keeps changing her name. I'll have to link. Okay, thank you, Hugh. Just DM me. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Whenever, yes, Hugh, message me on Twitter or email me. Like Instagram, I hardly ever go to. Um, do you get, I do. I get pepper jack cheese and I get fresh mozzarella. So while I eat mostly plant-based, you guys, like I eat fish, I eat cheese, stuff like that. Um, I just don't like, like, I feel bad for chickens. I have a problem eating chicken and like, you'll never catch me eating like lamb or anything like that. Like I truly, I'm not judging anybody else for eating meat. Like I've just always been this way since I was a little girl where I just like, I feel bad for the animal. Um, fish, I just really enjoy. So anyways, <laughs> and baby daddy's a fisherman for his profession. So, I mean, I think I kind of have to like fish, right? All right, you guys have a great day, great evening, wherever you are. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you so soon. Bye.